I was working on a video and the phone shut off. How convenient. Part 2. Apparently, HEB, Walmart, Target, Costco are among Houston area stores now making changes, they say, to help the spread of this virus slow down. Walmart will now be limiting the number of shoppers for each store. No more than five customers in a store for every 1,000 square feet inside. They'll be taking your name and information to the front to make sure who you are. And I, from what I hear, basically, they'll be taking information to see who's going in the store and monitoring you. The associates will mark a queue at a single entry door. They said in most cases, the grocery entrance. They will direct arriving customers there where they will be admitted one by one and counted. One-way aisles. One way. Once you get in, you're not allowed to go back in there once you leave. One-way aisles designated. One designated entrance and one exit will be implemented. Target will be doing the same exact thing. Plexiglass protections at checkout stations. They said a team member will help guests into a designated waiting area outside with social distance distancing markers while others will guide guests inside the store and help keep things moving quickly and conveniently. It's another step to encourage distancing, but also on top of the uh, s the signage, floor decal decals and audio messages already in place in our stores. They say they will also be monitoring the number of items in, that employees are touching The Costco food court will be has a limited menu. There's no seating, uh, which I don't go there anyway. I haven't been there in all, ever, really. Limitations vary by location. You will be only allowed certain items in some stores. Krogue. Associates are allowed to wear their own gloves and masks. They said that we continue to enhance our daily situation practices. An educational floor to call to promote physical distancing. Temporary closures of Whole Foods, hot bars, any 